The buttons are pressed. The game is afoot. It's not a foot. Well, that's a logo. Well, once I get into the game, you'll see that Jack isn't wearing shoes. Daxter doesn't wear shoes. Oh god, Jack Jack doesn't wear shoes. Yeah. He has like straps. Yep. Like a cast. Yep, so, pretty uh, much. What are we doing uh today? What's oh, on the menu right. today? Right. I'm thinking let's look at our We got Rock Village. We need to bring nine dwarves to the gambler, nine dwarves to the geologist, nine dwarves to the warrior. Uh, Oracle stuff and free seven scaffolds. Fire Canyon, we done. For the jungle, done. Sentinel Beach, Sandover Village, we still need to bring orbs to the Oracle and seven scaffolds. All right. And which area are we in right now? We are currently in Rock Village, but there's the Precursor Basin right next to it, and we should do that. Okay. One because it's the zoomer and two because it's neat. I think I have enough um, orbs to give her. You have uh, 180 orbs. Well, now 90 orbs. So you could also give orbs oh. to someone else. Oh, that's right. I can give them to the um, to the warrior. Duh. Yeah. This guy sounds oh, like he's doing a Patch of Warburton impression. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Twitter's on fire again. Um, yep, we are uh, in a because... age. Yeah, so a lot of ha stuff has happened over the last week. Um, first off, uh, Elon Musk banned Elon Jet, which was his long-term goal. Um, then he... Uh, banned he started banning all the journalists that were talking about him that were posting articles about him uh banning elon, banning jet. elon jet and then he went to an interview with all of them because they all made a group chat uh and he went to, in to have an interview and at the first hard question he fucking ran away quit and uh started blocking them he also um, took out uh, the entire ability for, like, a Twitter chat. Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, when, he was g when he was complaining about uh, Apple, people were pointing out that his tweets were sent from, a from Twitter iPhone, and uh, he removed the functionality of seeing what device uh, uh, someone made a post from. Uh, and As then, you do. Yeah. And then uh, he started banning people um, who he announced that he's going to ban people or Twitter announced that it's going to start banning people who have external links to other social medias. Um, mm. As you don't. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Twitter's on fire. Nothing so but confidence. Of, yeah, no. Uh, and in other news uh twitter stock is rapidly falling again uh, still no still <laughs> <laughs> and uh tesla stocks are also still rapidly falling because uh elon basically put up a bunch of uh tesla stock as collateral for his loan regarding twitter so when twitter starts to fail which it's been doing ever since he walked in the office um, and laid off 90 percent of the staff <laughs> yeah uh so when twitter stocks start falling tesla stock start falling also tesla stocks are falling uh as uh also because he's insulting the woke liberals that are the only people that actually buy teslas uh, of course, as you do. So, so even more memes have been sprouted, like new Tesla software update will drive your vehicle into a wall if you so much as mention another car maker. Oof. 
Uh, As you do. Yeah, so, uh... I'm fucking loving everything that's happening, because he is getting the biggest reality check. He, as soon as he walked into the headquarters, he learned the true meaning of fuck around and find out. And yet, after finding out, he's still fucking around, which is only going to lead to more finding out. As you do. The more you yeah. fuck around, the more you find out. It's statistics. It's math. It's proven. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. It's a kind of thing. Um... Actually, in other news... the game volume a little. In other tech news, um, President Shithole released NFTs at literally the worst time, considering, you know, Sam Bankman Freed, uh, which is one of the biggest crypto uh, people, uh, got arrested. NFTs themselves are <clears throat> dying really fast, considering there's a class action lawsuit against uh, celebrities that were. Uh, pushing NFTs. Oh, yes, because um, it turns out they're getting undisclosed amounts of money. Oh, yeah, a shit ton, and they needed to disclose it. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank is also uh, in hot water because of how many uh, sponsorships he takes on Cameo and doesn't disclose that they're sponsorship, even though it's pretty obvious considering it's fucking Cameo. But he calls them shout outs. Guy, he's Sh such a sellout. Shout out to my buddies at uh, Shark Tank because we're sh throwing our money behind um, what, what's something incredibly stupid. Uh, Linus. Uh, so Linus is my favorite Shark Tank episode, though. Uh, and as much as I hate Mr. Wonderful. Uh, he did have a really fantastic quote, which is, this is going to end badly for you. I want you to know that. So uh, Linus was a... Um, uh, uh, <clears throat> it, it wasn't a credit card, but it was, and it promised uh, back 40% uh, returns on each purchase, which is, you know, laughably bad. And when they were like, where's the money come from? Oh, well, you see, uh, you would sign, I would sign up you and you would invest your money and then you would get others to sign up and, and invest their money. And then they would get people to invest their money. You know what that sounds like? It's a pyramid scheme. It is literally a pyramid scheme. And when he kept being like, no, no, it's not. One of the sharks was like, oh, okay, let me see if I get this right. We have you at the top and then us under you, and then people under us. And he's like, yes. What shape does that make? It, like, literally, uh, like, made a triangle with their hand. Uh, there we go, there we go. Boom! Finally. Fuck yeah. That is one of the most obnoxious ones to get. Because I'm not good at platforming in this heavy-ass zoomer. <laughs> oh, man, you're going to love this one. This meme. <clears throat> For your consideration, the world's wealthiest man has made the largest purchase of his life at $44 billion. The product? A machine that shows him the thoughts of millions of people who all have one thing in common. They all hate him. Tonight on The Twilight Zone. It really does seem like a Twilight Zone what the, episode. How do I get up there? Uh, uh, I don't fucking know. Do mm. you have like a button you can click to jump? Yeah, I gotta jump, but I can't jump that high. Maybe you jump right off the the rock? You know, I think I know exactly what it is. Give me a second. This is the least accessible area to have this <laughs> stupid thing. Yeah, I really don't like the rider thing. <coughs> That's why I said last time. It's my least favorite. Uh, my least favorite areas are the ones that require it. Uh, 
I don't think okay. I don't. Uh -oh. Okay, I have to oh, hit that rock. Hit I have to hit yeah, that okay. rock just right. Dang it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I can still get 100% if I ignore one. Can you? Yeah. I can still get the special ending. <clears throat> okay, so here's a um a challenge for you. Oh boy. Okay. I love challenges except when they're hard. It's the year 1995. You're a you're an executive at Marvel, and you have the yeah. chance to write. Well, to, okay, you're the casting director. <laughs> you're the casting director yeah. at Marvel in 1995. You're put yeah. in charge of casting the Avengers. The scripts are the same. The public reception is the same, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you have to pick from a set of '90s movie stars and and others the ideal cast. Does it have to be the ideal cast? You cannot All pick right. Tommy Wiseau for every role. I wasn't. Okay, I have um, no idea where I'm going anymore. This is where. Okay, so. Uh... What heroes do I need? Is it the original Avengers? The original uh, so Avengers, like... you got to pick Captain America, um, yeah. Thor, Thor, Iron, Iron Man. Man, Hulk, and Black Widow. Yes. And Hawkeye? Yes. So, so six. All right, all right. Uh, I would keep Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. Okay, you can't really change that because legally he has to be. Yeah, and also he was... He's been a star since the 80s. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I keep him as Nick Fury. Because he's perfect for that. Um, I want to say Nicolas Cage is Thor. Okay. Yeah, we've seen him pull off the... No, 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 no. Get in the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. Oh, fuck, I know. Yeah, the long hair. When he was uh, gonna be Superman. Yeah, we've seen that. Um, John Travolta as Iron Man. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I think I, I would do away with the beard. I think or we maybe I, maybe I could give him the beard. I think we could trade Nicolas Cage for uh, Iron Man and John Travolta as Thor. You know what? You're goddamn right. We'd, uh, if we have Nicolas Cage, then I think we'd have to get rid of the the beard that Iron Man has. Because Nicolas Cage doesn't look good with the beard. That's fair. Um, Let's see. Black Widow, a 90s actress. Mm. Trying to think. Oh, uh, the girl that played Evie in uh, The Mummy. Okay, I can believe that. <laughs> I mean, she literally, she played Black Widow's mom in the Black Widow movie. All right, yeah, you're right. Dang, that is yeah. a good choice. <clears throat> All right, Captain uh, America. Oh God, Captain America, that'd be a tough one. Fuck you! Oh freaking hell! Um, you know what? Keep going straight. Keep going straight. It's gonna appear before me in a blink of an eye, and I just know it. I think you might agree with this. <sighs> Brendan Fraser as Captain America. That's not a bad choice. I was going to say Will Smith. Um, he was the <clears throat> most popular charismatic actor in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Will Smith is Hawkeye. Mm. I think Will Smith... Because he would, he could have a lot of funny quips. I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure, but I think maybe Will Smith as the uh, the scientist guy. Will Smith is Captain uh... America. Brendan Fraser is Hawkeye. Hmm. hmm. Maybe. Maybe. 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe uh, a baby, but soon but it will grow you know grow who I would get to play again. Loki? Uh, who? Take, take, take one guess. Uh, Tommy Wiseau? No. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. They make you take a harder left, right. Jean Leguizamo as Loki. That's that's a good choice. Dang it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think that's. Boom! Uh, I did it. Fuck yeah! I think that's more or less the cast I'd choose for a okay. '90s Avengers film. Okay, that that's not bad. Woo! I did it! Okay, you have to make a 90s Justice League, and you can't have any Nicolas of the actors Cage you already Superman. mentioned. Okay. Yeah, you can't have any actor or actress that's in the Marvel. They, ha they have a contract with Marvel. They can't, uh, they, they have a non compete clause and can't work uh, on DC films for 20 years after. Okay. So, what do you do? All right, I think. So you would need. Uh... <clears throat> okay, so I, I need Batman, Batman, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and then the villain. Uh, you get to decide which DC villain It's it Lex Luthor. All and right, I've already decided you... on Lex Luthor. It's gonna be the- it's gonna be Anthony Hopkins, who played, um, Hannibal. Bowser. And that, too, I guess. Oh, no, 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 I'm thinking of Dennis Hopper. You're thinking- Not... yeah, that's Dennis Hopper. I'm like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So Anth Anthony yeah. Hopkins could play a pretty decent, uh, Lex Luthor, I feel, if he really wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. So, uh, so Batman is easy. I'm just gonna get uh, Michael Keaton again. That's fair. Mm. I think he might be too old. Uh, in the nineties? Well, because he was Batman in the eighties. The late eighties, eighteen eighty-seven, eighty-nine. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. You know, I think it would be a great Lex Luthor. Who? Arnold Vosloo. No? He was, uh, he was Imhotep in The Mummy. He pulls off bald really well. Yeah, I can believe that. Because that's one of the things that you gotta... You gotta keep in mind. An, <laughs> yeah, they have to be able to pull off bald, which, uh... Jesse Eisenberg does not pull off bald at all. That's fair. Where yeah. am I going? Down, down, down. Yeah, I think Anthony Anthony Hopkins could pull off bald. Yeah, I probably. I I, th I think so. He he'd be playing an older Lex Luthor, of course. Yeah. Uh, what about Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman would definitely be Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah, I can see that. Enough about me, let's kill you! <sighs> or her. <laughs> That's a really good line, though. Yeah, that, that, that is. I, I, will, I will at least give them that. That is, that is, that is a line. Oh, fuck. A... Oh, you died. Uh, so Catherine Zeta-Jones as... That, uh, Wonder Woman. Yeah, Michael Keaton as Batman. Uh, Anthony Hopkins as Lex Luthor. Um, Flash. Flash is going to be played by. God, I wish I remember more '90s uh, stars off the top of my head. Oof. I had a terrible choice just pop into my what? head. What? Matthew Broderick. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I know you I, I know I you wouldn't. Realize, 
Yeah, no, I finally realized what it is that I really hate about Matthew Broderick, and <clears throat> it goes to, uh, it goes right to, uh, his appearance as, uh, Inspector Gadget in the live action of Inspector Gadget. That's fair. He's not good in that. Yeah. You know who I think oh, would be a good Flash? Who? Tobey Maguire. Yeah, fair enough. He was a star in the 90s before uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Like, he had a... Uh, was Pleasantville before or after Spider-Man? Uh, before, I believe. Yes, it was. It was 1998. Okay, so this would ju be just before um, Pleasantville. Pleasantville. Yeah. So we end up in a world where there's no Pleasantville. I want you to know that. No, no, we would. It just wouldn't start to move higher. Not, it would. He, he can do other things. It's not a superhero movie, so uh, it wouldn't affect his non-compete clock. It, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't affect the non-compete. He'd be too busy doing uh, DC films. I mean, uh... uh uh, Avengers didn't stop uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. from being uh, Sherlock Holmes. I mean, that was like 2008 when that was just starting off. That was 2009, which was after Iron they, Man. They would have been filming in 2008, which is right after Iron Man, and they didn't even know it was going to be a success at that point. So yeah, Pleasantville would... Uh, he, he would... Uh, Mm. Record Pleasantville right after uh, Justice League. Fair enough. God, I fucking love Mark Strong. So I looked up the cast for uh, Sherlock Holmes. He is very good and... as the bad guy in that, yeah. Yeah. I really think he should have been Lex Luthor in the the Justice League mo or in Batman v Superman. He's I can believe that. Way, way, way better. You know how I know? Because he's a fantastic villain in Shazam. Oh, I forgot he was in Shazam. <clears throat> yeah, he was the villain. Uh, and he was really good, at, but he would have been so much better as Lex Luthor. Oh, so Henry Cavill is not returning as Superman. Yeah, I heard. Or, I'm, uh, I'm very unhappy. Witcher. But he is going to be in Warhammer, which is something he's been, like pushing for for a long time i mean he is a gamer <laughs> yeah he he fucking loves warhammer uh, have, have you seen the um it's it's a letter that's like oh this is why henry cavill was really fired it's not about what he says and it's like <clears throat> and it's one of those things where it's like Oh, Henry Cavill is such a terrible person. He he did terrible thing in the most vague way possible. <laughs> uh, I like, hate that shit. Yeah, it's like, oh, God. It, it, it's clearly made by somebody who's either not a fan, pretending they actually worked on the production of The, um, the Witcher, yeah. or it's somebody who works on The Witcher who's, like, trying to be like, no, 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 it, it, actually, it's his fault. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Matthew Broderick as Flash. Um, no, I think we should go with Tobey Maguire. Uh, but it's your choices. Well, uh, to be to be fair, Matthew Broderick was never a good choice. I, I was saying that as a gag <laughs> to watch your reaction. Okay, that that's fair. All right, so who'd be Aquaman? Uh, The Rock probably. No, no, this is this would be yeah. before he's really famous. No, because wait, when did the Mummy two come out? That was like The Rock's first role. Yeah, that was 2001, so it'd be before. He was a 2000s actor, not a 90s actor. Yeah. Uh, pro <laughs> probably, um, probably the guy who plays the um, the Russian boxer in um. Oh, in Rocky. In Rocky, yeah. All right. What's his name again? He played the Punisher, I think. Uh, there's an 80s Punisher film that's really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, fuck. The actor is... He uh... also played He-Man. Dolph Lundgren. Yep, that's a good choice. Right there. Dolph Lundgren. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's still alive. Yeah, he's, he's pretty active. I wonder... Yeah. I think he was in something recently. I can't remember what it was. I'm gonna check his IMDB and find out. <clears throat> he was in... A, wow, a lot of recent stuff. Operation Seawolf? Never heard of it. Section 8? Nope. Rise of Gru? Yeah, I can believe that. He was. He was, uh, Svengeance. Oh, he hey. was in Aquaman as King Nearus. Oh, okay. Who is King Nearus? Is that uh, Aquaman's father? No, as one of the, uh, the side villains, I believe. See, King Nearest Aquaman. King Nearest is ah, he's the the father of Aquaman's wife. Hmm. Okay. I think. Mother, maybe grandfather. I don't know. I'm just gonna read the fucking wiki. Uh, let's see. He's the king. He is Mira's father. And he joined King Orm in the plan to unite Atlantis. Okay, so yeah, he's the uh, he's the father of Aquaman's wife. Okay. Uh, uh, the one that shit in the bed. Wait, what? Amber Heard. Oh, 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 oh! I I thought yeah. you said the one who shit in the bed, and I'm like, wait, wait a minute, Dolph Lundgren shit in the bed? <laughs> No, 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 Aquaman's wife. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you had me yeah, confused because you were still talking about Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. I, I completely understand because that happens to me a lot where I uh, misunderstand who someone's talking about. That's I am bad. glad, though, that we have communication to avoid a comedy of errors. Yeah, unlike most uh, movies from the 90s. Yeah. Nice. Scout fly, scout fly, got him, get me a scout fly. Yeah. I love that Tumblr isn't one of the, uh, one of the websites Musk banned. Oh, Fuck. Fucking hell. The electric water is obnoxious in this area. Yeah. I was never a fan of electric water. Yeah. I feel like if you're electrified, you should be immune to it. Why? Because you're already covered in electricity. What's more electricity gonna do? Mm, fair enough. Ah, eh, fuck. Oh, so that hurts me too, because why not at this point? What, the pillar that's glowing red? Yes. Yeah, Dolph Lundgren would be my pick for Aquaman, probably. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, especially since that was, like, the height of his popularity, so... Oh, question. Yes. Who would be Cyborg? I don't think Cyborg was popular during that time, so they probably wouldn't have him, but, um... I mean, Iron Man wasn't popular until Robert Downey Jr. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go with Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah! 
He'd be great. I fucking love Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah, uh, he's he's a bit older than than the um, than the actor who plays um, Cyborg in the movies. But my justification would be that we'd probably be, like 20 be... years in the future. I, I definitely argue that he would be like. We'd probably change up his backstory. Yeah. Because one, it's the '90s, so of course, like he maybe they he was maybe he was a scientist at LexCorp that ended up getting really fucked up by Lex's experiments, and then oh. rather than uh, suffer a lawsuit, Lex uh, turns him into a robot. Probably, I can plan believe of that. Using him against uh, Superman. I can believe that. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. God, have you seen his origin story in Teen Titans Go? It's really fucked up. Um, no, I've never even, I, I have not heard about that. You tell. Okay, so, in Teen Titans Go, um... Ooh, shoot, okay. Ooh, you hey, uh, you should have turned into an Otzel. There should be a mod where if you fall in the dark eco, you turn into an Otzel. That would be pretty cool. I, I do think that that should happen, but, like, they don't, you know... <clears throat> That that's on them. That that's on um, <laughs> that's on the developers of Jack and Daxter for taking away what could have been something really funny. Yeah, even if it's just a a short death animation, it would have still been funny. Yeah. Like he falls in and then uh, surfaces as an Otzel wearing his goggles. He just shoots out on hair. the nearest platform. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these puzzles. I fucking love these kinds of puzzles. Fuck you. Um, These guys so are hard Titans... to deal with because they just roam. Yeah. In uh, Teen Titans Go, um, they're holding tryouts for who gets the Titans Tower. And it's uh, the Teen Titans versus Teen Titans East, which mm. is uh, like Aqualad and, uh, <clears throat> and Bumblebee. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Thank you, Daxter. Uh, and uh, Cyborg is just a guy who uh, his qualifications are that he's a high school quarterback. Uh, and then throughout the tryouts, he progressively gets more and more injured until he gets horribly wounded so bad that they actually have to cart him off. Uh, and uh, they say that he's probably gonna, he's probably not gonna make it. Uh, and then he comes back as a cyborg uh, to continue the tryouts. So Robin is the one that fucks him up so bad that he has to, you know, become a cyborg. You know what? I can believe that. Robin and Teen Titans Go is pretty awful. Oh, yeah. I do like the gag of him not being able to handle spicy food because of how white he is. Dang it. <laughs> like I he think... thinks, uh... He... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah. Uh... He thinks that, uh... Salted, uh, steamed potato, or, or boiled potatoes with salt on them is too spicy. Of course. <laughs> God. I could really seriously. Go for okay, potatoes. seriously. There we go. Die, both of you. I, I could go for potatoes. Potatoes are pretty good. Yeah. Ow, oh, fucking. <laughs> um, this, this area is probably the hardest area in the entire game. To be really honest. Yeah. You know what videos I fucking love? People, uh recording themselves looking through their brand new Tesla and pointing out like all of the massive flaws and uh, corners that were cut because uh, Teslas are really fucking shitty Oof. nice 
I mean, I, I just feel bad for, for, like, people who end up getting suckered into that. Yeah. Also, did you notice that but they animate I... Daxter breathing? Oh, I haven't noticed. Yeah, if you look, like, you can see his chest rising and falling. Hmm. Ah, fuck! <laughs> I was too busy appreciating detail. <laughs> ah, rip. Yeah, mo most games don't do that, but, like... You Your can film see... takes grace... On Christmas Eve, but we do not grant you the rake of Christmas movie. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's a parody of the, uh, uh, uh of the, um... But the council chamber scene, I, I get it. I'm just yeah, trying to yeah. figure out, like, what the movie is. Die Hard. It's, uh, it's got Bruce Willis instead of Anakin. Fair enough. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck. So, uh, you recently watched a Christmas movie that's like if uh, Die Hard was actually a Christmas movie. And yes. it had John Leguizamo in it. Yeah, it's uh, Violent Night, by the way. Very good movie. I highly recommend it. I will probably watch it on Christmas Eve. That's fair. It's in theaters right now, so... You, you oh, know. then I will probably watch it in a few months. Yeah, that's, the right, that's what I figured. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I have no concept of, like... I, I have no concept of... what's of, in theaters? Yeah. I still think that everything should just be streamed. Uh, like, everything should just be immediately put onto a streaming service. Fuck. Because, uh... Uh... <laughs> because when the pandy started and, uh movies stopped being played in theaters uh i realized just how much i hate watching things in theaters and how much better it is to, for new shit to just be uh available on stream yeah although that being said i still think it was really shitty for what disney did to scarlett johansson fair enough uh because, uh, for, so for those of you who don't know, what happened was, um, Black Widow was, uh, filmed, and Scarlett Johansson was promised that, it, it, like, it was in her contract that, uh, it would be in oh. theaters for a certain amount of time, and that she would get residuals for that time that it was in theaters. However, uh, when the pandy started... Um, Disney, uh, stopped doing things in theaters and, uh, put it to the, uh, put it straight on streaming service, which means she didn't get the residuals that she deserved. And she asked them to renegotiate the contract to accommodate it, and they refused. And so she sued them for breach of contract. Yep, as you do. Yeah. I think Scarlett Johansson's a fine enough actress. I, there's a few roles that she's really not fit for, you know? Like, like Ghost uh, in the Shell? Yeah. Don't like, worry. In in our next film, Scarlett Johansson is going to play the, ro the role of um, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that was... Wait, I don't think it was Scarlett Johansson, but that is an actual thing that was proposed when there was a Harriet Tubman movie. Uh, I am aware of it. <laughs> I know, but I want to explain for those who might not be. Go for uh, it. So there was this... Uh, oh, God. Um, I think it was Julie Andrews. I'm, Julia Roberts. I'm pretty sure it was Julia... Uh... uh Uh, yeah, Julia Roberts. Uh, so yeah, what happened was there was this Harriet Tubman movie that was, uh, being made, and the, uh, executives were like, you know who's a big name? Julia Roberts. She should play Harriet Tubman. And the people who actually know what they're doing was like, no, that is a terrible idea. For one thing, 
Harriet Tubman was a black woman who was integral to the uh, Underground Railroad. Um, and the executive's response was, oh, it was so long ago, nobody would notice. So I actually know a guy from Sweden who um, watched a film based on Harriet Tubman a few years ago. And yeah. and he and I, I think I told this story, but he was you like, "Have, but tell it again." But okay, so so we're talking, and he's like, "So why?" So he was asking, like, so we're talking, and oh god, I'm trying to remember the details because I'm trying to focus as well. Yeah. Uh, long story short, he didn't know Harriet Tubman was a real person. Is like, well, it's very nice that they're giving roles like this to black women, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. You died uh, in midair. Rolls like this to black women, and um, I was like, oh, yeah, Harriet Tubman, she's, she's a big deal down south. And he's like, oh, it is, she's like some sort of superhero? I didn't know that. I thought I didn't know I was watching a superhero film, and I'm like, no, no, no. Like, she's a real person. And he's like, oh, why is she black? <laughs> and I'm like, because she is because black. She and black. <laughs> Yeah, and apparently he didn't realize that that the, he thought that she was supposed to be white. <laughs> uh, but he's from Sweden, so that's uh, yeah, definitely. understandable. They probably don't un, they probably don't teach American history in Sweden. Uh especially not like southern history most likely. I mean, they don't even teach southern history in, here in America in the south. Fair enough. I love all the dances that Daxter has. I think Daxter can, should be able to swim in Dark Eco. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if there is we, we a We do know to, uh, that uh, Daxter has a, a superpowered dark form. I, I think there probably is a mod to, like, add a uh, death animation for falling in Eco. I think there should be anyways. <laughs> I can still make it. Watch <clears throat> Okay, seriously? Alright, time to lean forward in my gamer chair. Dun 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 no, I can't find anything indicating Fuck. it. Damn. There's probably a bunch of really good art out there of, like, what if Jack was an Otzel. Oh, absolutely. I've drawn some Otzels before. Otzels have a great design. I... Oh, no, I drew you as a uh, Lombax. No! I'm moving too fast for my own good. You are. Big rip. <clears throat> this camera angle is not great. Yeah, no. There's a scene similar to this in Wind Waker that has a much better camera angle. And also, you're going clockwise when... Uh, counterclockwise is usually a much better way because you no. know it's a little awkward to run from the left to uh, it's a little awkward uh, in I, I think that it, it would have been better if it was like mirrored mm, maybe my half brother is 63 Jesus Christ imagine if he were your full brother I feel like I'm missing a jump input here. I mean, maybe. To be fair, this is an older controller, and also I feel like I'm losing frames. <laughs> maybe. Give me a second. At least, at least there's no life system. 
All right, let's go to the graphic option. Game resolution. And okay. You wouldn't tweet out a link. Probably not. Who knows? That's in the uh, font of you wouldn't download a car. Oh. <laughs> of course. I would definitely tweet out a link. Oh, that's much better for some reason. What, did you lower the quality? Yeah. That's fair. Makes it more authentic to the PlayStation 2 experience. Also, that Dark Eco is rising way faster now. Maybe it's one of those things that's tied to the frame rate, because they also bumped up the frame rate. You know how many old games would tie stuff to frame rate? It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, Shadow of Colossus. That's why the uh, remaster was way, way more difficult, because the stamina bar was linked to frame rate frame yeah. rate and because it was at 60 fps instead of 30 uh that meant your stamina bar would deplete uh twice as fast um no oh. that's my mid-air jump <sighs> momentum yeah dun 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 I don't I usually don't. have this much problems with the stage. Oh, apparently a couple hours ago, uh, Musk uh, stated that he's effectively going to revert... Oh, son of a bitch. Basically revert the whole linking thing, allegedly. He's going to... Tr he claims he's going to revert the linking thing, but he's trying to pass it off as his own idea now. Like, he's trying to make it go back to the original policy. Oh, because everybody's but, making fun of him. Yeah, and uh, so he's gonna he claims he's gonna basically uh, he explains what the original policy was and claims he's gonna revert to that and he's trying to pass it off as his own idea. You know, uh, the thing he's... Uh, Famous for doing? Like the, yeah, this is like the third time he's done it with Twitter specifically. Where he fucks something up and then puts it back the way it was and claims that it's this brand new idea that he came up with. Or, you know, just add what like a I... small change to something that's already working fine. Boom! Yeah, one done! Of my, one of my favorite quotes is by William Shatner. Uh, and it was, uh, at age 10, Musk uh, made the game Blast Star which uh, set forth his lifelong uh, career of creating things that were already invented and puts Blastar side by side with Space Invader. It's literally the same thing. Oof. Fair enough. Uh... God damn. I hope he loses everything. Like everything, everything. Everything, 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 everything. God, I love uh, the Lego movie. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good movie. It okay, I got, is. I had everything here. I think. Let me check. Yeah, looks like it. And eggs. Oh, it's probably on the slides. Cause remember, you missed a couple boxes on the slides. Fair enough. Oh, well, you don't need the eggs. But I want the eggs. Don't you know that I need them? I want them. I need them. I need them like I want them. A lot. Oh, hey, I didn't know Ken Levine worked on this. <laughs> uh, the maker of Bioshock. Ah, yes. Also, he's making another game. Which is also Bioshock again. <laughs> 
Yeah, we uh, mentioned that. Like it was like a, a multiverse thing. Yeah, it's like a multiverse thing that has a lighthouse or some shit. Right? Or am I thinking of something else? I think of something else. God. What? So, we were talking about some game at some point on one of these streams. Uh, that was. And I remember you saying, like, oh, it's a multi. You go to a lighthouse and it gives you access to the multiverse. And I was like, oh, man, I love Bioshock. Oh, you're as a joke. Remnant from the Ashes. Yes, Remnant. Which is not a lighthouse. The lighthouse is your end goal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, I, how many look, of these do to, I have? I was trying to remember a conversation from like... Oh yeah, you have enough. 46. From like weeks ago. That's fair. I'm trying to decide uh, if I should go and do... um Misty Island. Sure. Oh, I haven't... I need to give you... Some yeah, thank you. Shut um, up, gambler. Your diction isn't gonna stop me. The fun wasn't fact. Remnant, wasn't Remnant the one where, like, you're the only one that can stop the big bad because you have no destiny? Everyone no. else, like, has a destiny, like, a, a, a slated point at which they're supposed to die, but you don't? No. We've already had this conversation. You're thinking oh. about uh, Reckoning. Yes, Ashes of. Uh, King Kingdoms uh, of Amalur. King yeah, Kingdoms of Amalur. What was I think? Ashes of something. Oh, I'm probably thinking of Reckoning again. Does no, Reckoning Re Re have a... It's, it's Kingdom of Amalur Reckoning. <laughs> or, shit. What's the first one we mentioned? Remnant from the Ashes. Yes, the, okay. So yeah, I was just confusing those again. Okay, do we want to go to Misty Island, or do we want to just, um... Because we're only, like, fifth, we're only 15 minutes in. We're only 15 minutes? No, we're, like, 50, half an 50, hour 50, in. 50, Oh, 50. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go to Misty Island. We'll do Misty Island, and then we'll go and fight the, uh, Fire Golem and make that the end of the, the stream. Yeah. Then there's the Mountain Pass race right after that. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hmm. You fell. No, no, die! Not Big Bertha. That's a Mario joke. Mm. Oh no! Not the muck. Who knows what they might want with the artifacts? But like Orange Sophia's dress, it just can't be good. I like that guy's beard. In full riding regalia, her long jump might come in handy when you're crossing the car. How <laughs> useful! By the way, uh, Dozer is on my bed taking up half of it when he should be uh, laying down in the corner and only take up a third of it. Well, as dogs do, if you're not using all that bed, why shouldn't he? If you're not using all of your bed, let him have some of it. Just saying. Well, I mean, I was, but he keeps, like, inching. F really, Dozer? Okay, he's he taking up half, movement. but, like, he he's taking up half, but now it's uh, vertical instead of horizontal. Because mm. before he was well, taking up I just up realized. Half. Yeah? Come on. 
Where is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Boom, there we go. That's where it was. I knew so I was why missing does she one. Have it? Why does he? Or yeah, why does he have it? Yeah, what are you doing Dude, with all those scout flies, you weirdo? Yeah, maybe maybe he's a traitor. No, I here's my guess. He's using the scout flies to um spy on people so that he can uh control them for polling. <laughs> I see. You know, like hey, you any politician a really would. stupid joke that you're going to find hilarious? Go for it. My wife told me to take the spider out instead of killing him. Went out, had a few drinks. Nice guy. He's a web designer. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I, I had a spider spook today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you're familiar with the fact that I, I have a fear of spiders. <laughs> I know. So I went to the bathroom today, and I see something small and black scurrying across the floor. Oh, no. Anyway. Was it a cockroach? No. Anyway, it was a clump of hair, but I thought it was a spider at first. <laughs> That's literally a gag from the movie Arachnophobia. <laughs> Probably. No, it is. The guy uh, sees uh, a, a shape on the wall and grabs a shoe to kill it, thinking it's a spider, but it's just a fucking coat hanger. Like, uh, a wall-mounted uh, coat hanger. Uh, like, and half of it is, like, the shadow. <laughs> it... Oh, man. <clears throat> so, uh, Ash is not going to be the main character anymore. He, oh, Pokemon. for Pokemon, yes, I read about that. Now that he's champion, I, there's no way to go but up. Yeah, I think... But one thing that... I think the thing I'm going to miss the most is Team Rocket, but I understand why. Is uh, Team Rocket they're gone? I mean, they're changing... They're basically starting anew. So who's, a who's, the new, who's the new antagonist? I don't fucking know. Small, uh, fuzzy, yellow. Kinda cute. Yeah. yeah. Um <clears throat> My uh, I'm watching a, a thing on Twitter where it's uh uh it's time to go, Ash. What? Uh Was I a good trainer? Go. What do you mean was? You're not dead, you're just not the main character anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing this for thirty six years. It's time to move on. <laughs> and he throws a Pokeball at death. He catches him. <laughs> of course, Ash catch him would. Yeah. Maybe he never caught God. But what are you going to do? I mean, every other Pokemon protagonist has caught God. Why can't he? Because he's an atheist. Mm. He can't have God. <laughs> Zach Zaxter is infinitely jealous of other small fuzzy oh things. Oh my god, I just had the most terrible idea. What? Arceus is not dead. <laughs> A Pokemon version of God's Not Dead? <laughs> It'd be so fucking stupid. God, God's Not Dead is a terrible movie, by the way. I'm just imagining, um... Arceus popping up occasionally during the filming of the movie to give notes like Okay, so in this line where it says I'm not dead Could you rewrite it to being is constantly watching you? <laughs> no, no, it's uh, uh Ar Arceus uh, is in the Like someone's like I don't believe in Arceus and Arceus is just in that in the back and like uh, Oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm actually getting better <laughs> Uh that's our Monty Python joke of the day. And Garantina comes in with a chair! <laughs> I don't know why, but Blank comes in with a steel chair is one of my favorite jokes. Oh, I'm going reverse. You want, you want me to do the zoomer? Sure. Goddamn zoomers. They're too young to vote, even though they're legal voting age. Don't you see? We should raise the voting age to 30. That way they can't vote. You know, an actual argument that, uh... 
that uh, the GOP made after they lost the midterms. Oh, of course they would make that argument. Yeah, it basically boils down to, hey, if we make the people that don't like us unable to vote, then we won't lose. That's sort of like saying, hey, if we jail people who are more likely to vote against us, then we can legally make it so that they can't vote against us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's a I thing. That, uh, I know. Uh, it's a... Uh, if you're uh, char or if you are convicted of a felony, you lose the ability to vote. Yeah. Any political system which uh, removes the ability to have a voice from uh, prisoners has a vested interest in imprisoning the people that they don't like. Shocking. Yeah. Almost like uh, that was some. That way. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like it was intentional uh, and made specifically for a specific group that has a much higher uh, conviction rate than uh, certain other groups uh, to take away their ability to vote. It's almost like it's systemic. It's to get rid of all of the, um... All of the pygmies from voting. The furtive pygmies. I, oh, yeah. So easily forgetting. So easily forgotten. <laughs> uh, that, that was my joke. I... Yeah. Oh. I would have said the Dark Souls. Probably. Yeah. But anywho, yeah, no, um... This game it, has, like, beautiful settings. Like, look at this. this oh, is... absolutely. I, I, I immediately love this ship. Yeah. So, uh, prisoner disenfranchisement was, uh, built into the system to prevent minorities from voting. Like, that's a fact. An objective fact. Not some crazy conspiracy theory. This uh, country has a lot of problems that it needs to fix, and the first step is actually recognizing that those problems exist. And blind patriotism, or blind loyalty to the country, uh, is not going to fix it, and is actually going to make things worse, because that's not patriotism, that's nationalism, which is a bad thing. Yes, words that were said, I agree. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh my. The uh the Twitter poll that Musk made on whether or not he should step down as a as the uh Twitter CEO uh has definitely changed. Oh, what uh, is it? Yes at 57%, no at 43%. I mean, that's what it was like when I last checked it, so. Oh. I'm like, when, my God, he... when, when, I, when I voted, it was like 53% so you should stay. Oh, and no, it, it's 57% it... should Oh, no, no, it's 43 should Say, uh, saying he should stay. It's 57 saying he should go. Don't read the comments. They're all a bunch of suck ups. Oh, I know. I'm not gonna. You think I read comments on Twitter? I mean, I do sometimes. I like to see what, pe what people are smoking. Uh. Yeah, no, it's, uh. I hope he loses everything. Because that would make me so happy. I mean, he's made his his wealth off of um, exploiting the works of others and claiming that he did it. So yeah, he didn't even he's he's not actually a founder of Tesla. He bought his way into like he paid to be listed as a founder. Much like how he tried to have um, 
the, the Twitter the Twitter thing. documentary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why, why is your breath so bad? So I recently saw a uh, movie that I really like. Um, I've seen it before, but I've been thinking about it a lot. All right. Do tell. It's really good. It's, it's called The Ringing Bell of Chirin. Mm, never. Uh, oh, you've mentioned it. Um, yeah. Well, well, my I'll... radar of things that I need to say, so. Yeah. Uh, do you mind spoilers? I think you it's already spoiled the plot. Minutes. Oh, dang it. Ah, oh, you missed the bus. Don't worry, it'll come back. Yeah, but you'll need Blue Eco to make it run no, again. It, 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 it's already running. Oh, I thought it was one of those things where it was like... It, it runs out. I thought it was one that runs out. <laughs> so, uh, The Ringing Bell of Chirin is uh, based off a book. Um, and, and the movie is made by the same company that did Hello Kitty. You can definitely tell there's some um jittering. No, there's some some issues with the um rendering. Jack was floating a good foot off the ground. <laughs> oh, I did not notice that. <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to that platform and I'll show you. But like if you look really closely, uh Jack is not on... Oh, yeah. He's like a good three or four inches. Yeah. It, it's I very noticeable it's on that particular... shadow. I think the shadow is misaligned. No, the shadow is right beneath him, so it's not misaligned. The problem is uh, you can... Oh, yeah. You no. can just tell. Yeah. Uh, anywho, Ring Bell of Chirin. Uh, so it's about it's a... It's by Sanrio, right? Yes, the same people that did uh, Hello Kitty. They do a lot of other uh, stuff, not just Hello Kitty. I know, but that's the one that most people would recognize. Maybe they'll do Hello Fresh next. We are not sponsored. Um, anywho, I, so, I freaking hate Hello Fresh ads. Yeah, I hate a lot of ads like Raycon and Raid Shadow Legend, like. Have you Ray seen how Shadow many Legends ads would have to give me at least two million dollars before I do a single ad for them? Have you seen even... how many uh, ads like Doug Walker, Nostalgia Critic, does? <laughs> yeah, I think the Stamps ones is the most annoying. He does two ads per video. Each ad is five minutes long. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Ringing Bell of Chirin. It's about a sheep, and uh, his mother is killed by the Wolf King. Mm. Uh, and so uh, he oh, shit. goes. Okay, I died. Oh, you got blown up. Really like, how am I gonna get paid back now? <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Wolf King kills Chirin's mother, and so he seeks out the Wolf King to. Uh, and asks the Wolf King to cha train him how to kill. Uh, and he makes it clear that he is going to one day try to kill the Wolf King. Uh, like we trained no him wrong on purpose. As a joke. Fuck. God, I fucking love Kung Pao. Uh, so the Wolf King trains him, and there's a montage I where he I grows up. <laughs> I promise everybody watching, I am much better at this game than you think I am. <laughs> because you're floating a couple inches off the floor, that's ruining your footing. Yeah. The sun was in your eyes. Yeah, uh, J Jack's hair is so bright, it's it really does make it seem like, you know, you're just floating off the, the ground. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So, um... The uh, there's this montage where he grows up over the course of two years, um, fighting bears, deer, uh, other animals, um, and then the Wolf King takes him back to his original herd, where a pack of wolves are about to attack them, and he see and Chirin, uh single-handedly kills all the wolves. And then the Wolf King's like, all right, now kill the herd. And 
He's like, no, then you have failed the training, and I'll kill them. And then he fights in, uh, he has to fight the, uh, the Wolf, Wolf King, King in, in the climax. And I will not tell you how it ends, because you still got to see that. All right, I'll make, I'll make Does time. Does he win? Does the Wolf King end? You'll have to watch it. It's a. It's Does Batman minutes. show it's... up and befriend E.T.? <laughs> uh, it's only 45 minutes long, and it is... Uh... <clears throat> and it's on YouTube. Just look up Ringing Bell of Chirin. You can find the dub on YouTube. Ringing Bell of Karen. The Pokemon Chirin. character. <laughs> oh, God. You know, they wasted a really good opportunity to re do a jack animation where you turn into an Otzel if you jump into this particular vat of uh, ooze. That's the same one that... Uh, uh, Daxter fell into, yeah? Yeah. Jump in. I mean, you just saved. Woo! There's no animation. That That is lame. Yeah, I know. You would think. It would be, it'd probably be the easiest to do right there, to be honest. Like, oh yeah, we yeah. already got the area. We... You could make a quick model. Just maybe just dye uh, Daxter's just... model blue, <laughs> or dye it yellow. No, did they dye Daxter's yellow, model? Put goggles on it. No. Yeah, and uh... yeah, just have him like float to the surface, confused. Shoot him back out from the like you would do. Give Daxter a uh, a, a unique dialogue where he's like. Great! Now, not, now both of us are useless or some shit. Who knows? I mean, Daxter anyway, is probably yeah. more useful than da Jack is. I mean, remember yeah, Daxter, Daxter's the video got game? His full, yeah, ja uh, Daxter's got his own game. Yeah. He saves Jack. From, from, maybe we could. It's a fun enough game. It's not particularly long. It's by the same company yeah. that did the um, God of War games on the PSP. Oh, that's fair. So like two or three streams. Potentially more like um, three. Yeah. Daxter is a bit lengthier because it's not just combat. <sighs> the um. We still got to do Shadow Colossus at some point. That would be fun. Yeah. You'd have to make sure to... You, to cause, uh, using our Caribbean PlayStation, it's... Uh, there's specific settings you have to use in order to get it to actually run. Yeah, We'll leave that as something for later. Uh, when we yeah. get there to saying, Ah, fuck, no. No, 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 no. There we go, I'm good. Good. I'm good. Da da dee da 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 dee na 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 na. We're gonna get copyright strike. I said I'm good, not I'm blue. Oh. <laughs> God damn. I don't remember any of this. I'm gonna be frank. That's fair. <laughs> There's very few things. I remember the door at the end that needed, like, all of the power cells. You don't know what's behind that door? I do not remember. I'll tell you. What? I, can, I can do it right now. Or are we going to see? We could. You could see. How about this? I'll tell you, and you'll realize why you won't see it. Nothing. Okay. Nothing's behind that door. Uh, do they just, like, open it and not show? Yeah, it's it's a beam of light, and they're all like, "Ooh, spooky!" And then in Jack Two, it's revealed it's the time travel machine. Oh. Yeah, that's what it was the entire time. Yeah, okay. Are we gonna play Jack Two on Jack Two's the bad one, right? But Jack Two's pretty good. Was it Jack Three that was bad? No, they're all pretty good. The problem with them is that um, Jack Two is really hard. <laughs> Uh, which is the one where he, like, gets the dark eco form? Jack 2. Yeah, okay. Well, I think that one's not good. Eh, it's not what people like... wanted. I didn't like Dark Jack. 
Nobody does. It's not a useful form. Yeah. And it looks stupid. I, I think it looks kind of cool. Admittedly, they removed the tail and the horns, which is a big, which is a big mistake. It's always a mistake to remove the tails and horns from a design. Can you imagine if they removed the uh, tail from uh, Daxter? Yep. Terrible idea. But yeah, um, they removed the... I think the... that would be... I, I think I'd jive with the design if it had uh, horns and a tail. It did, I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Unless, like, it was just the ta the uh, horns. And I'm pretty sure there was a tail as well. In uh, the concept art? In the concept art, yeah, probably. And I know that uh, he had horns in... Um... Some of the earlier models and they just take them out in the game proper let's see oh yeah i'm, I'm looking I'm at used... some concept art i'm digging you, that used to the sculptor okay i got everything what else do you think about it oh there's the tail yay i was right about the tail I was thinking for a second I, I, I was wrong about the tail. It's like a demon tail. Fair enough. But that fits with, like, horns and shit. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I vibe with that design. Dang it. <clears throat> what, is he gonna eat them? Probably. I mean, what else do you think Daxter's gonna do? I don't know. Sell it? Probably. I can believe him doing that. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Describe your character. Describe your OC in the most boring way possible. Mm. Purple dragon with lombax ears. I mean, that still sounds too interesting. Gosh, <laughs> I mean, th this is incredibly difficult with scraps. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I I posted the meme in my D and D server. Okay, let's do this with Daxter. Uh, All right. Orange plushie with rude mouth. Nah, that still sounds interesting. <sighs> Sassy weasel. That sounds super interesting. I would watch a movie that a sassy weasel just then. Yeah, it's called Food Fight. No. Remember the weasel character in Food Fight? No. They had there, the, there's uh, no weasel in Food Fight. <laughs> there is. There's no weasel in Food Fight. Food Fight doesn't have a weasel character. Yeah, it does. You, you can't you can't gaslight me. <laughs> I'm actually not gaslighting you. There's there there's no chocolate weasel in Food Fight, nor Did does it? he have seductive eyes and uh uncomfortable uh Language. Was it, Zootopia? was it Zootopia that had the uh, weasel that was like, it may be an offer I couldn't refuse. Money. Money. That, that's Zootopia. Yeah, okay. I love that weasel. That's a good sassy weasel. Duke Weaselton. Oh, God. Wesselton. Oh, his name is Duke Weaselton. Oh, right, right. He's Duke Weaselton. Duke Wesselton. The Duke of Wesselton was... Uh, the same yeah. actor. <laughs> yeah, in uh, Frozen. Yep. By the way, I will say. I liked Frozen. I just didn't like its mar its over marketing. I'm gonna be honest. I liked Frozen at first, but then like the longer I sort of had to sit on it, the less I like it. I just like Athena Menzel. 
Yeah, Dean Menzel is great. Like I'm gonna be, I'm, I'll yeah. sit down and I'll listen to the soundtrack and I'll be like, yeah, the soundtrack's pretty good still. It bops. Yeah. All the songs are good. My main issue yeah. is the fact that the longer I think about it, the more I sort of realize, yeah, they kind of took the easy way out with this. Yeah, and also Hans makes no sense as a twist villain, considering he had the perfect opportunity to, uh, you know, fulfill his plan and have Elsa killed, and then he stops that from happening. Yeah. Like, he actively, like, he could have had them killed, be like, and then he could have waited oh. for her to die. What do you do here? He could have. Yeah. You have power cells to collect. Leave me alone until you have them. What are you doing back here, old man? He's he's sleeping. He's he's not sleeping. His eyes are open. He's meditating. Uh. All right. The, Let's. The um. Uh. Ah, camera. <laughs> camera stuck. Camera stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if Hans let, like, the guards or the duke or whoever the fuck it was... Just shoot uh, Elsa sh like they wanted yeah, to? Sh yeah, shoot Elsa. Uh, then, first of all, uh, Anna wasn't uh, hit with the ice beam at that point. Uh, so, they... Uh, she wasn't? I think she was. No, it was, Im it was immediately after, because Elsa's response of accidentally shooting the ice beam... Is what cursed her. Mm. Uh, it was immediately after that she ended up getting uh, hit with the ice. Um, I thought she got captured and they were trying to bring her back to the castle and that's when the guys arrived. No, no. What happened was Anna, uh, Anna went to go and try and uh, convince uh, Elsa to... Uh, like tell Elsa that the place has been covered in snow, and ask her for help to stop it. And, and then, then the she guards is. came in. No, no. Then the guards come in, and one of them, sh uh, like, fires at Elsa, but uh, Hans like tackles him, causes the uh, uh, chandelier to fall. The, yes, the chandelier to fall, and uh, Elsa's uh, instincts, uh, you know go defensive uh and accidentally shoots the ice beam at anna no no and anna that... isn't there for that scene are you sure i am 100 percent sure that what happens is anna goes there she gets um you can shoot fireballs with... she she they have a song moment that's when she gets uh her heart frozen yeah yeah arendelle is in deep deep no, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So and they have the song the number. No, no, no. The, the cards don't show up until after they leave. No, I'm no, 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 pretty no. sure. What happens Cause... is Elsa and Anna are singing, and Elsa gets stressed because, oh, I, I can't run into my problems. My problems keep going back. And then Anna's like, oh, but I'm still here. I'm your sister. And that's when she gets zapped with the snow. And they leave with. um with um Kristoff to get help for her and that's when the guards show up after she's she's already gone. No, I'm pretty sure the guards come in before. Nope. I'm cuz I'm absolutely sure that the guards uh I I'm absolutely sure that the guards uh attacking Elsa is what causes her to accidentally shoot the ice beam. No, it, I'm pretty sure it's stress, uh, but we can look it up if you really want. I will. I absolutely am going to look it up. Alright. Oh, I love the deformation love... of the lava, by the way. Oh, yeah. I love the uh, conspiracy theory oh, that Frozen <laughs> was made to uh to change the google algorithms of what would pop up when people look up walt disney frozen <laughs> you've heard that theory right i have not heard that one 
Yeah, they, they made it so that when you look up Walt Disney Frozen, uh, what pops up is... Um, Something other uh, than uh, Walt Disney's Frozen Head. Yeah, exactly. All right. What well, other celebrities do you think will be uh, get their heads frozen? Okay. Uh, Ch check Frozen. I'm on the movie. I'm watching. Ah, shoot. I, I got the movie up. Uh, ooh, 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 moment, moment, moment. <laughs> ew. <laughs> the Daxter right. asking for the feet rub. Jesus Christ! It wasn't until an hour in that she even encounters her. Yeah. The movie has a really bad pace. Nobody talks about that. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So no, yeah, no, I was wrong. It was an it was an AOE that hit her. Like uh, ice exploded from Elsa in yep. all directions. Why didn't Kristoff get hit? He was in the room. No, he wasn't. He was downstairs. If you watch the full scene, uh, Anna climbs up the stairs to talk to uh, Elsa, and Kristoff uh, is downstairs. Dang it. Jesus Christ, it's an hour in before the plot actually happens. I really don't remember it being that bad. I mean, my butt kicked. Oh. Anywho, yeah, no. Uh, Hans could have let Elsa die and then arrested the guards and the Duke or whatever for regicide. Uh, and then told Anna and then let Anna die. And be like, oh, I was the only one left to do things. And that would have worked out better. That's why I... He's not a good twist villain. Yeah, I agree. It is even work with, like, the themes of the movie. It really feels like somebody at some point decided, hey, we got this character that we don't know what to do with, and we really want Kristoff to be the boyfriend. What do we do? Yeah. We just make the other boyfriend evil. You know, I think what they could have done was have them do the kiss, like, legit, and then it not work, and Elsa, or Anna realizes it's because uh, he's she's fallen in love, in love with Kristoff. And then have uh, uh, Hans be like, okay, then let's get you to him, and be a good friend. Like, And yeah, then in the sequel... <laughs> Yeah, in the sequel, they could bring in a love interest for, uh, for, or, hell, fuck it! Ship Hans with fucking Elsa! Like, ha like, have Han, like, have Hans kiss Anna, and then it fails, and then have, uh, and have him be like, okay, I don't care if you don't love me, uh, the way I do. I just want you to be happy. And so he helps get to Kristoff. Uh, and then have it be like, oh, have Elsa be like, hey, you're the only one that actually, like, you're the only one other than Anna that actually cared to listen to what I had to say. You know, saving her from the sh chandelier and all that. Uh, Who knows? Like, it could have been something. You have two male leads and two female leads. It, it'd be, yeah, to be it'd fair, be sloppy, I, 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 it would be better than it. It'd be sloppy, but it'd be better than the fucking twist villain out of nowhere. That you was his good, mistake. Oh god, that was even worse. You know who a good twist villain was? Uh, Long John Silver. Yes, but also. Uh, I was gonna say um, the people from uh, in Atlantis Lost Empire. Fair enough. The, the military. You, you, you can kind of piece it together, you know. But it is a yeah. very good twist. I think the best twist villains are the ones where there's the hints of that you can tell something's not right, and I think that's part of the reason why Hans is such a bad twist villain because there was no 
reason. Like, the um, best twist villains are the ones that you can understand, like, it doesn't come out of nowhere. On that note, one of the th reasons I love Long John Silver as a villain is very much because... Okay, I have to ask, before I get onto this, what's the point of this lava rock? See that lava rock right there? Uh, it's where the, uh, the, it, it's where the boulder lands before it rolls onto the platform you're on to give you, like, a little bit of leeway. Yeah, but, like, you could have just made it, like, um, more Break. obvious or something. <laughs> it's like, it's just this big, obvious, um, molten rock that you can just... Because I thought, as a kid... <laughs> I was supposed to jump onto that to uh to fire the 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 energy balls, so I didn't realize that well I'm dying a lot. Am I not doing it the right way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Long John Silver. They make it pretty obvious he's the bad guy really early on. Oh yeah. That's so not really a twist. <laughs> but he's also very amicable. Yeah, but like the thing is, we as the audience knows he's the bad guy. Jim doesn't. He has suspicions, but he can't prove anything. And over the course of the story, we realize, oh, Long John Silver is potentially good for Jim, but also not good because he's, he's the, the bad guy. So, so there's this tension underlying everything. Oh yeah, it's uh, the the main uh, the main conflict is. Is Long John Silver going to put his uh, greed over his uh, uh, <coughs> over, over his, his love relationship of Jim. with yeah, over his fatherly role? Like, what is more important, Jim or the money, or Jim or the treasure? Yeah. And in the end, Jim was more important. Rest me for a bleeding heart. <laughs> Yeah, Dang it. Oh, rip. God, I fucking love Treasure Planet. I'm gonna watch that tomorrow, or not tomorrow. I'm I'm gonna watch that on Win. No, not Wednesday. I'm gonna be watching something else on Wednesday, probably. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna watch it Friday. Okay. I was gonna say we could watch it tonight if you're interested. No, I got. By the time this ends, we're it's gonna be. Uh, Pretty late. I mean, are we gonna end it right after we finish this? Yeah. You did why not? Say you wanted to. To okay. the, uh, we'll we'll do wanted... we'll do this and then we'll um call it. We'll call it yeah. Because this is not long. This is mostly just um yeah getting it right. Yeah, avoiding the holes, avoiding the uh, bombs. Yeah, pretty much. I think the part I hated the most about these kinds of sections where you're on the speeder is uh, trying to collect every... Ah, every are you kidding egg. me? <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. That was very bullshit. I, I agree. Dun, dun, dun. The music in this yeah. game is just good in general. Yeah. God damn. You know what uh, I was thinking about the other day? What? I was thinking about that uh, that Smash tournament where the top players in the world quit because they weren't allowed to use uh, their own controllers, which were broken in a very specific way. Like, they had a very specific mechanical... Uh, advantage. Def defect, which gave them an advantage... And, like, that in any other tournament would get you banned because that would be that would classify as uh, modified controllers. And that's why most tournaments for most games provide their own controllers and shit. Woo! I got all of the boxes. Please don't crash in anything. <clears throat> I did it! Uh, you interrupted him. 
Yeah. I smacked my uh, blades right into his face. Alright. Alright. Actually, do you want to get to the right. teleporter, then we'll call it? Because there's yeah, a cutscene. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Let's end on a cutscene. Those are always fun. Everybody loves cutscenes. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there's like a series of mods for this game in which they make a volcanic um, crater, ice crater. Oh, I'm always a fan of uh, stuff like that. Where'd you come from? Oh uh, no, it's the villain. D. Snyder. It's it's Bonejaw. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. And it's Girl. Girl? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the dark eco would affect you for He has chains. Nobody ever listens to old Zemos. What have you two done with the blue and red sages? Don't worry about your talented friend, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel, our special gift. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You were wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can't control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos. Yes, the silos. They will be open, and all the Dark Eco on the world will be ours. But that's impossible. Only a precursor robot. Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> you know who I would get to play her if we if there was a live action Jack Naxer? Who? Oh. <clears throat> Tilda Swinton. Or as you uh, said, Tilda Swinton. Tina's... Tilda Swinton. I've always said Tilda Swinton. Tina Stilton. Okay, yeah. I, I forgot yeah. how to say Tilda Swinton, and I was like, oh, Tina, yeah. Tina, Tina. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so Scraps was telling me about the Del Toro, New Pinocchio uh, movie. Yeah, and was like, hey, there's a couple actor, uh, there's a couple voices you might recognize. Uh, Finn Wolfhard, and I was like, oh, hey, I do like Finn Wolfhard. He is a good actor. Uh, and then you're like, and Tina Stilton. And I was like, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> the opposite like... of uh, Finn Wolfhard is Gil's Catsoft. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> All right, uh, we're at the end game, I believe. All right. So, so here's a thought uh, process before we go and just close what? off. In an alternate world where Jack and Daxter continued the style of the first game rather than changing drastically for the second and third, do you believe Gaul would have made a return? Of course. Probably as, like, the villain of the second game, working solo. Who knows? Um, anyway, I think that, that I did read an interview with uh, the with the creator of Jack and Daxter, and he said that one of the main issues with the Jack and Daxter franchise is that unlike Crash Bandicoot, it did not have a um, significantly good villain. All the yeah. villains in the Jack and Daxter series kind of suck. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, the one in this game is completely forgettable. Evidence being, I I had. I could not remember who the villain was until the uh, opening. Until we started playing this, mm. and uh, then the sequel is Baron Praxis, who has like almost he's the best they got, and he's he, not even the. Final is he boss. the one that wishes to be a precursor? No, that's um, that's that's Veger, Count Veger. Uh, okay. Yeah. So so uh, Baron Praxis that's in Jack Two, game or third game. Uh, Count Veger is in the third game. 
Oh, okay. So Baron Praxis is the guy who does the dark experiments on Jack, and he, he's he's a great villain. The problem is he's not a villain since you don't actually fight him. <laughs> oh, God. They fifth element it? They, they kill him off at the end, yeah. Nah. They, 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 they kill him off way before, like, at a certain point, and then the final boss fight is against this old guy who turns into a giant monster. <laughs> oh, that's boring. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We should be doing our uh, sign-offs. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Definitely check out some of the other stuff on the channel. We got Hollow Knight. Um, we have uh, Tabletop Thursdays, in which me and a couple friends play Tabletop Simulator. Um, there is also um, uh, Ace Attorney. I'm playing with my friend Biddy. Um there are two D and D uh, campaigns going on. One of them is Curse of Strahd, being played by uh, my friend Chalkvi, or being run by my friend Chalkvi, and then a homebrew I'm running called World of Tapir. Of course. Um, yes. And then there is uh, a podcast called The Postcast, in which uh, Biddy and I read RPG horror stories. Um, am I forgetting anything? Uh, nothing comes to mind. All right, then I guess that's everything. Um, <clears throat> comment challenge of the day. Um, if you were to make Justice League or uh, Avengers in the 90s, uh, it could be the early 90s, it could be the late 90s, you decide. Uh, who would your cast be? That's a very good question. You yes. already know all of our answers, so we're not even going to bother. But um, yeah. give us your best, and if yeah. we notice, we might rate them. <laughs> yeah. So uh, with that out of the way, there's nothing left to say, but good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Every Jack, every Otzel. <laughs>